In this video, you are going to learn how to set up C4 e-commerce purchase event for Shopify store and using Google Tag Manager. Hey, what is up everybody? This is Nassim from nassimreza.com and before we start, I want to mention one thing. I am a top rated freelancer and also providing the personal consultancy, which means if you need any technical help, you can book a meeting with me. Details on this video description. Let's back to this topic. You can see this is my demo Shopify store and I am going to set up this Google Analytics purchase event and the, I want to use Google Tag Manager. So first of all I just need a property and measurement ID from Google Analytics and then go to Google Tag Manager and open new conversion tag and select Google Tag Manager and first of all select Google Analytics but you can see it's not work because it's required create google tag and i am making this google tag first and now you can see it's still not verified just remove it and paste it again and you can see now it's so it's verified and here is the event name i just want to set up purchase event so that's it i just type purchase so if you want to follow the total documentation from google then search on google and go there documentation and find the event which is purchase and you can see when i select the purchase event all the required information here i just need to send this kind of few variable with this purchase event okay so let's make a event parameter so here you can see we need to make multiple event parameter and send it to our gf4 for example this is currency just copy from their sheet and paste here i just want to say they are required okay so you can see currency value all are required and also transaction id is required and then another thing is uh, item id and item name is required just copy and paste item id and then item name so you can see i am copy and paste just and all are showing tick mark that's mean i am not doing any mistake so if you are not able to see that check mark that's mean you are doing something wrong and now it's time to make the variable so if you open a product page then you gonna see in this store only have the one currency that's why i just want to use input here usd and then it's a value so if i expand this data less checkout extension there you can see one variable i will see on the bottom which is ecommerce.value why is actually trigger the value with this event okay so make a data layer variable with that code which is ecommerce.value you can just go slow with this video and copy and paste there okay and now it's time to copy and paste that transaction id so actually e-commerce value and transaction id is same so that's why i just making this code here okay e-commerce dot transaction id just co copy it and make another variable which is for transaction id okay select the data layer variable and paste here and then save it then hit the save and when you have done then here is the item id so if you want to get item id just expand that extension from there and copy the item id so item id and product id it looks same just i just want to copy the item product id okay so it's look very good and clean so that's why i copy and just make a data layer variable for product id so product id and the product name is the same format so that's why i just want to make another variable for name just copy the item name and paste it here and then cut it and then make another variable go to plus and select data layer variable and paste it and i just doing fast just copy and paste the exact same name on there so you can do no problem there like here you can the example that you can understand what i am doing okay 
and now it's time to make a trigger so trigger will be the custom event and custom event you can copy the trigger name from that event which is purchase and here you can see this is purchase and now save it and when you have done then save it again and this is actually the tag name so if you want you can do any tag name and now our task is done and it's time to test so go to preview mode again and order a product from our store and you can see our website is connected to our google tag manager preview mode and then open the product and buy i just want to directly buy this product so that's why i clicked on buy this product and just form fill up then input the card name so actually this is the demo store that's why i am using their demo card and all when i have done then hit the pay button and it's loading and it's processing now so yes now thank you and your order is confirmed now and go back the google tag manager tag assistant and here you can see number 26 is purchase and if i select the data layer all are good and variable you can see all that we made it's all are working fine so if you want to test more then we just need to go on the google tag google analytics okay so let's uh, see our variable it's look good on our google tag manager assistant and you can see the item name product id transaction id all are here also our tag was fired and now it's time to go on the google analytics and go on the debug view and select google and here you can see the purchase is here and if you take a look carefully you can see item id value transaction id and the item name and uh, also the currency so everything is okay everything is good and that's it our setup is ready and when you have done that submit and publish this version it will work perfectly that's all for today if you found this video was useful then hit the thumbs up and if you want to see more video from me then consider subscribing to this channel because it will help me to continue working on this channel my name is nasim and i will see you on the next video Till then, bye. Have a good day.